Hello everyone, next one, Man Legacy here, and today I just thought I'd show you guys what I've been doing lately, um, and some new additions to, well, the way I play and the way I do things around here now. Um, I'm sure if any of you guys follow me on social media, uh, maybe Twitter, you would have seen that I had recently picked up a pair of uh, Mass Drop Hi-Fi Man HE4XXs. And, well, so far, I've been really loving them. Um, now, as I picked them up, because they have pretty good soundstage and everything like that for playing video games, you can usually tell where things are. So if someone's over there, you'll know that. Or over there, you'll know that. It really all depends on how well the game works. I know that Call of Duty really really sucks for directional sound sometimes and battlefield excels at it so that's just one thing now the only problem i've been running into is that i needed a mic so to do this i needed to get a splitter and i decided to go with a mod mic so i have the mod mic v5 here so i just magnetically place that right here Flip it up, flip it down, I can flip it backwards if I want. But the problem that this does is it adds another cord that I really don't want to have. I really don't want to have to carry around an extra cord all the time. So currently, I'm designing a cord that will, will get rid of the need for me to have an extra cord, which would be amazing. But... Uh, it may take a little longer than I'd like. Um, I have a few places that are willing to make it for me, but I need to map out the diagram and uh, get that to them. And I'm also, well, my dad is an electrical engineer and works a lot with sound, so I might be just making my own here pretty soon as well. Now, another thing to do with these headphones is they're 35 ohm and they take a little bit more power to run them properly than like I don't know a, a pair of headphones that you can get at like Walmart or something so I actually oh I have the wrong cord out this is a micro USB oops so I got this cord or this and this is a Theo amplifier and DAC Here. It's a little portable one. It has a balanced out and a 3.5 inch regular out and a audio in as well as bass boost and gain. So this thing has been awesome for just about anything I can throw at it. What I'd usually do right now is I, know, I unsplit it here and just plug it in there if I want a little extra sound, a little extra bass boost. But if I don't want all that, I'll just grab my usual controller. Uh, this is my Evil Controllers controller. It's got the nice Evil sticks back there, which are really nice. So I usually just plug this in here. And I can talk to everybody like I normally would with any normal gaming headphone or headset, I should say. The only difference is that these have a lot better sound than those do. So, yeah, that's what I've been up to. And so far, I'd recommend if anybody here actually plays any competitive gaming or just wants a good pair of headphones to just sit around with and watch movies or play games with i would honestly definitely recommend these even if you don't buy an amp like they sound really amazing um i can throw a link in the description for them and uh and the fio as well because this fio can honestly if i had a balanced cord i could honestly drive really good headphones with them currently this only does about 75 watts at 32 ohms but if i did a balanced one it says greater than 220 
at 32 ohms, so it would be a bit louder, but it would sound amazing. Um, okay. Well, I think that's just about it for today. Have a good day, guys.